That's Swenson, the one without a helmet while bullets flew all around. Everybody was taking fire. The, the whole valley was just a giant ambush. It was crazy. Sergeant Kevin Durst of the California National Guard was crew chief of a medevac helicopter which flew into that Afghan valley more than four years ago. Both he and the pilot recorded the battle with cameras attached to their helmets, producing this dramatic video which only now is coming to light. Durst first spotted Swenson from the air. We saw him because he, he laid down with a panel marker. It's a bright orange panel. Uh, he was laying on his back and it was on his chest so we could see him. That panel also made him an easier target for the enemy shooting down from three sides. Sergeant First Class Kenneth Westbrook had been hit in the throat and was bleeding to death. Swenson and a medic helped Westbrook to the helicopter. Then, amid the hell of combat, something beautiful happened. Sergeant Westbrook kind of leaned down and Captain Swenson kind of leaned down and they had, they kind of looked at each other and it appeared that they were talking, but Captain Swenson kissed him on the forehead and then tapped the side of his head. Stop the action and you can see it clearly. It was the Brotherhood. It was your buddy is getting put onto a medevac helicopter and, and you're going to have to wait to see him for a couple hours. He's going to go back to the hospital and when you're done with your battle, then you'll see him. But Swenson never saw Westbrook again. The medevac got him to a field hospital in time for a life-saving transfusion, but 29 days later, he died of complications. This guy had four broken ribs, a punctured lung, a shattered left shoulder. He had a shot um, on his neck, which um, went through his aorta, so he was bleeding pretty heavily. His widow, Charlene Westbrook, did not see this video of her husband's final battle, did not even know it existed until the medevac crew presented it to her this spring. The first time I watched it, it was so emotional and I, I just, I cried. It was the hardest thing to watch. After loading Westbrook aboard the medevac, Swenson went back into the battle. When Durst and his medevac team returned to pick up more casualties, they found Swenson further up the valley even more exposed to enemy fire, aiding wounded Afghan soldiers and searching for four missing Americans. He did things that nobody else would ever do, and he did it for his guys and for everybody on the ground to get them out. Durst medevac left before Swenson performed his final act of courage, going forward under fire to recover the bodies of those four missing Americans. The Army's official account makes no mention of the kiss Swenson gave his doomed sergeant. But that one act explains everything about why soldiers fight. They fight for each other. David Martin, CBS News, the Pentagon.